I am working on my masterpiece, big piece for my booth. Um, it was drawn ahead of time onto a recycled canvas from the thrift store that already had that printed background on it, maybe from Hobby Lobby or Pure One Imports. I treated the canvas and then I drew my animals on there and then I painted these details in acrylics first. That way I don't have to wait days for my oils to dry so I can do details. So I do the details first. Then I started laying in the light, the white, and then the light colors with my palette knife. Notice I have to take my brush and blend in the acrylic areas with the oil areas or else it just doesn't quite go together. And bring the oils up close to the acrylics. I always like to do the whites and light colors first so that um, if you do them later after you've put dark colors in there, they catch and get all muddy. I didn't want that. I'm going through with my brush. I do acrylic hairs sticking out for the edges and then I go through with my brush and add um, oil hair on top so I get good several layers of the twiggy hairs sticking out. And then this was a mixture of orange and I think a little bit of black in it to make a brownish orange color. You probably noticed about my art that I don't do brown very much. I don't do um, realistic colors a lot in my animals. I like to push the colors and have fun with it. Purple blush because that goes great with orange. And then putting in the shading, and I couldn't get close to where my details were. I had to go back with a brush to get close, let those acrylic white hairs show up. So there I'm going around the details with my brush, bringing the oils in up next to the acrylics. I like the animals to be shaggy and bringing the oils around all the places. And some areas I can't get my palette knife into, so it has to be all brush, like that neck area. It just wasn't gonna give me enough space. And then I bring my palette knife in and blend in the shading and texture. Texture the fur, I just love that texture. All right. Just adding some more texture to the white areas. This is going to be my big, you need a big wow piece in your booth and you might not sell it for a long time, but it's okay because it brings people into your booth. So this is going to be my wow piece because I sold, I sold the double dog painting that I had for a long time. I sold it, uh, I think it was in the spring. So it's time to make a new one. There I'm texturing again. Now I'm going through and adding fur sticking out with the oils. Just doing different finishing details. And texture, bring some of the white fur to come out and interact. I don't like it to look too separate where the acrylic and the oils meet. I want them to blend well. 